This is section 8.5, division properties of exponents. In the previous section, we talked about multiplying properties of exponents. Let's review that idea first and we'll understand the correlation. When we had a power times another power, we added the exponents. We're all very familiar with that idea. Well, today, when you divide numbers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So our idea here is if we have x to the a divided by x to the b, we're going to subtract and say a minus b as our new exponent. Whether it's negative or positive, we'll deal with that later. So let's look at our first one. 2 to the 7th and 2 to the 5th. Well, let's subtract our exponents. That's 2 to the 7 minus 5, which is 2 squared, which is 4. When they're negative exponents, we can do this one of two ways, and let's try to remember some of our tricks with negative exponents. If it's a negative exponent in the top, it goes to the bottom and becomes m cubed. A negative exponent in the bottom goes to the top and becomes m to the third, m to the fifth. Well, let's subtract our exponents. 5 minus 3, well that's 2, so our answer is m squared. Could you have done this a different way? You sure could have. You could have said negative 3 minus negative 5, which is negative 3, plus 5, which is 2. Either method will get you the right answer. Let's look at our third one. 5 to the 3rd over 5 to the 6th equals 5 to the what? Well, let's think. What's 3 minus 6? Well, 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So therefore, what goes in the box must be negative 3. Down here on problem D, we have kind of a multiple problem all at once. Let's look at it together. Now, when we're simplifying here, a new idea that we're going to re realize is wherever it is the bigger exponent to start with, that's where the numbers will end up. So, since the 5 is bigger than the 2, we're going to end up with 3 to the 3rd on the bottom. How did I get to the 3rd? I said 5 minus 2. The 7 is bigger than the 3 on the M, so the M's will be in the bottom. 7 minus 3 is 4 t to the 6th, t to the negative 5. The 6 is bigger. So we're going to have a t in the top with 6 minus negative 5. That's 6 plus 5, so that's t to the 11th. And there's our answer. Down at the bottom of the page, let's talk about scientific notation. If you don't have your calculators out, you might want to get them out because that will be helpful for this section as we divide the first numbers. We're going to divide the numbers in front and then we're going to deal with the exponents in back as a different. So I'm going to start by saying, what is 6.8 divided by 1.3? On my calculator, that's 5.23 with a number of other decimals, which I'm going to not worry about. Then I'm going to say times 10 to what power? Well, 12 minus 8 is 4. So the answer approximately is 5.23 times 10 to the 4th. Our second one here, we're going to take 5, 4.65, and I'm going to divide that by 3.1. That went in exactly. That's 1.5. And then I'm going to subtract my exponents. Negative 8 minus 12. Negative 8 minus 12 is negative 20. Now with scientific notation, this is the one exception that you're allowed to have where you have negative exponents and we don't have to put them in the bottom like we do with variables. 